How do you do? It's Mr. Moo. Welcome to the devlog. This is my indie video game puzzle platformer, Stolen Hearts. I've been working on it for almost four years now. It has over 100 playable levels, and most recently, I've been working on the boss battles. In my previous Stolen Hearts update, I showed you how I added 3D bosses to my 2D game. Specifically, this big bad wolf for my character, the Good Knight. But the Good Knight is only one of four playable characters in the game, and each character will need to defeat their own boss, and then at the end of the game, a final boss. And most recently, I've been working on that final boss, Dango. Dango is the main villain. He's the one who stole all of the hearts in the first place. And at the end of the game, it's your job to dance with him in one final epic battle to take back what was stolen and save the world. And when I say dance, I mean it. It's a tango, in fact. You have to tango with Dango. All great dances need great music. Can you even imagine all of our favorite dances without the music that made them famous? So I took the Fiverr to get what I needed. I searched for someone who looked like they knew how to shake their money maker. And I found this guy. I gave him an example of a classic dramatic tango and another example of an epic boss battle theme and asked him to fuse the two. We went back and forth on a couple of revisions and ultimately arrived on something pretty awesome if I say so myself. It isn't enough just to have the tango music. Dango's movements need to be synced with it. I used a package called Choreographer, spelled with a K. More like Cooleographer, am I right? Oh yeah! With Choreographer, I can take my audio clip and keyframe specific moments to trigger events. And I'm going to use this to keep Dango's movements in sync. So let's get Dango dancing now! When I was in high school, I used to have to shake my hips for the teacher. No, that didn't come out right. What I mean to say is that the teacher used to like to watch the children hold each other awkwardly and move side to side. This is still not coming out the right way. What I mean to say is that I had a gym class elective called ballroom dance, and it was there that I learned that each ballroom dance counts its beats differently. In the case of the tango, you count it like T, A, N-G-O, T, A, N-G-O, and straighten your back and N-G-O. Anyway, while Dango's doing the tango, he's also trying to kill you with these sharp claws and fiery breath. Instead of actually trying to finish this game, I keep doing things like this that increase the scope of the project and prevent me from release. But at least now I am one tango closer to the end. Last time I got some great feedback on my wolf 3D boss. A bunch of you said that it would look better if I pixelated the 3D elements, otherwise the styles look too different from each other. And so, and I'm ashamed to say it, but I crept up behind that wolf in the middle of the night and BANG! I pixelated him. I did. And he never even saw it coming. Hi there, my name is Special Agent Good Cop. Now, I want to talk to you about the incident from the other night. Now, first, let me say how sorry I am that this happened to you. To be pixelated in your own home, unacceptable. If there's anything that you can remember from the other night, please tell me. Like I told the other officers, I don't remember anything. It's all a blur. You may have noticed that in this video, I've already been showing you the pixelized version of Dango, but this is what it looked like before. I have to admit, it looks way better now. So thanks to all of you who suggested that last time, and leave a comment down below for all the things that I covered in this video too. Keep that feedback coming, it's super helpful. You can wishlist Stolen Hearts on Steam right now on my very out of date Steam page. Link is in the description below. If you liked the video, then like the video. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Peace.